Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at lobbytools.com. Father Andrew Pollock quietly stared into space for hours as lawmakers debated school safety. His daughter, 18-year-old Meadow, was one of 17 victims at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High. When his turn came to speak, emotions flowed. Just like we're sitting here, no one's worried someone's coming through that door with a gun. But our children are going to go to school and worried that someone's going to walk down a hallway and shoot them? Some, something's not right. Next, 14-year-old Alex Schachter's father and grandfather. We need each one of you to step away from politics and reach inside as parents, as grandparents, and work together to make a difference. Then, the mother of hero teacher Scott Beagle, he was shot holding the door for students to escape. Scott's focus was to keep the students safe. He did not have to make a split-second decision, do I go for my gun, do I save my students? No, he didn't have to decide, shoot or save. Most Democrats on the House committee voted no, but not the two Democrats from Parkland. They voted yes. State Representative Jared Moskowitz attended the high school. Would this bill have saved these students? I, I mean, I'm, I'm not God. I can't answer that. I, this would have given them a way better chance. All of the parents see this as a beginning, not the end. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.